If you are on the market looking for the best budget GPU out there, this video is going to be really helpful because I will go from $120 all the way up to $370 for the best budget GPUs that you can get right now for both 1080p and 1440p. If you want a 4K GPU, that is a different story as you will need more money, but for 1440p and 1080p, you can actually get great GPUs for a low price. And if you need help, you will have all the links down below in the video description. And by the way, in the description you will have a link where you can book a meeting with me for personal PC help. So if you're not sure which PC build or probably PC to buy, I will take a look at your case personally and talk to you about the perfect PC build or probably PC that you should get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. That being said, let's start. The first two GPUs are going to be from the used market, so if you want a brand new GPU, just skip until the third one. But with the first one, we have the RX 5500 XT going for an average price of $120 on eBay. Now it performs like the GTX 1650 Super, which is going around $100, but it only counts with 4 gigs of VRAM. So please, if you're going to buy a budget GPU at this price point, get the RX 5500 XT, where you get 8 gigs of VRAM. Now, for those who don't know anything about computers, this is a really solid 1080p GPU. It's not going to be the flashiest, so don't expect to play games like Fly Simulator or Ultra settings at 1080p but for most titles 1080p 60 plus fps on average is definitely more than possible and when we talk about esports titles 100 plus fps is definitely more than achievable so for just 120 bucks this is a really good deal and if you're looking for around a 400 to 450 dollars pc build this gpu is definitely the one to go with however if you have around 60 extra bucks for your gpu i would highly recommend you getting the rx 5700 xt this one is also 1440p Capable, which is insane for a price like this. It performs like the RTX 3060, which is going for around 330 bucks, which is insane. So for $150 less, you are getting the same exact rasterized performance and a 1440p capable GPU. So if you're looking for a PC of around $600, and also playing at 1440p, the 5700 XT is going to do an amazing job and I believe it's the best in terms of price to performance on the used market. Now with the next one we have a brand new GPU, the RX 6600 going for 240 bucks. It performs slightly better than the RTX 2060 Super and slightly worse than the RTX 3060. Really solid for 1080p and yes, you're spending more money than the 5700 XT while getting a slightly less performance, but it's a brand new GPU. So not only you are buying brand new, but also the drivers on this GPU are going to last for a longer time than the RX 5700 XT. So if you have that extra money and you want something brand new, the RX 6600 is really solid for 1080p, even the high demanding games. If you're trying to build a 600 to 700 dollars PC, I believe this GPU is going to be the right one. Now, if you have around 60 extra dollars in your bank account for 300 bucks, you can get the RX 6650 XT, which is going to outperform the RX 6600. It's going to perform better than the RTX 3060, which is 30 dollars more expensive, and slightly worse than the 3060 Ti. It's designed for both high FPS at 1080p or solid performance at 440p. So, if you're looking to start playing at 1440p with better performance than the RX 5700 XT or the RTX 3060, the RX 6650 XT is going to be the sweet spot. And last but not least, we have a GPU that is really good in terms of value, the RX 6700 XT, which performs like the RTX 3060 Ti in terms of rasterized performance, but actually has more VRAM than the RTX 3060 Ti in 12 gigs of VRAM versus 8 gigs of VRAM that the 3060 Ti has. And the Nvidia card is going for 410 bucks while the AMD card is going for 370. One thing I forgot to mention is that I will leave all NVIDIA alternatives for the GPUs that I mentioned on this video in the description as well in case you want to go team green. However, if you want the best price to performance, definitely go with AMD. Back to what I was saying, this is more of a 1440p GPU. Now you can use it as well for 1080p ultra high FPS, but I would actually recommend you going for a 1440p monitor if you get this GPU 
And the only reason I would recommend you upgrading to the 3060 Ti is if you're really into ray tracing or you're a content creator. If you're just going to do gaming, please save that money, get the RX 6700 XT, and trust me, you will not be disappointed. So those were my five favorite budget GPUs out there, but of course you have to pair these GPUs with the right CPU and the right system all around to work at a hungry percent and not bottleneck it. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video about how not to bottleneck a gaming PC in the top right of the screen where you get a ton of value on how to pick the right components but if you don't want to go through the process of learning like I said at the beginning I do recommend you booking a call with me where I take a look personally at your situation budget and needs to give you the perfect PC on a call with you thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one